Jesse, when I was asked to come to come to New South tonight and do this show with you, nobody told me there would be unicorns. I am a lover of unicorns. That's a, a that's a secret, a fact that a lot of people don't know about me. I'm a big fan of unicorns. I knew that you would be super excited, so I wanted to keep it a surprise. Oh. So the surprise is out. Cat's out of the bag. In our third match of the night, we have some some women's wrestling. We have Brooklyn Creed versus the Unicorn Princess. Oh. Now, I came into this match a big Brooklyn Creed fan, but you don't disrespect unicorns like that. You just don't. Just completely destroyed the unicorn horn headband that Taylor Ray wears. She's just showing the heathen that she is. And I'm usually a fan of heathens. You are. That's why you're here with me. Yeah. You're my favorite heathen. I'm pretty heathenistic. Yeah. I think I made that up, but it sounded good. I mean, there's heathenism, so why can't there be heathenism? That's true. Regardless, we have the heathen Brooklyn Creed in the ring, currently in control of the Unicorn Princess Taylor Ray. Oh. Obviously, I think it's an easy takeaway on who the fan favorite is in this match and who the crowd will be slowly behind. Oh, oh, the princess is here. Just stuck her with a DDT here at Action Clash. Our third match of the night, we have some hard-hitting ladies action. And I don't think Brooklyn Creed expected this out of Taylor Ray, but when you tear a unicorn's horn up, this is what yeah. you get. You get the horn. Yeah, and when you're shooting a sparkle, a sparkle cannon or gun, whatever you want to call it, it's hard to take that seriously. Sure. I get it as a unicorn uh, aficionado. I appreciate it, but I see how a heathen wouldn't take that seriously. Would you say that you are over the rainbow for Taylor Ray? Uh, well Beautiful played. pinning combination yeah. from Taylor Ray. I'm so over the rainbow, you can call me Judy. That went right over my head. But, Judy uh, Garland. Oh. Saying over the rainbow. Okay. She okay. was Dorothy? Sure. I'm yeah. sure she was. In it, Wizard of Oz? Is that a horror movie? To some I'm, children, yes. I'm kidding. I've obviously seen <laughs> The Wizard of Oz. Uh, but here, we do have a bit of a, a horror movie uh, in front of us. As, uh, I really don't think that Brooklyn Creed expected this, so it's turning into a bit of a nightmare for her. I think she expected a bit of an easier match. Absolutely. That's why I think you see her on the outside right now, getting her composure back, sure. taking her time, trying to take in what just has happened. Telling the ref to back her up. Taking her time getting in the ring, get pro probably getting in the head of Taylor Ray. Ooh. There are differences between chickens and heathens. That's true. A heathen what that is, I don't know. Well, I think a heathen will probably consume an entire chicken in probably about two bites, whereas a chicken would probably run from a heathen. Oh, God, what a headbutt. She just welcomed the princess to the scorched earth. Brooklyn taking charge of her opponent right here. And that's the thing about Brooklyn. She's not afraid to throw heavy shots, not afraid to use her own body as a weapon, as we saw with that headbutt. Definitely uh, pulling the hair, and the ref telling her to, to stop pulling the hair. Using the pigtails to her advantage here. Oh, God. I just seen glitter flying, yeah. in, flying in the ring. That's got to be a distraction. Oh, Hard shot. to slap that glitter off. This might be the biggest... Uh, or well, the toughest opponent that the princess has had so far. Absolutely. Put some stank on it. Uh, oh, oh, pink belly. You, Taylor, you, I think Taylor was uh, getting herself ready for the chop up top, and it went down below, caught her off guard. And the thing about chops is you can only prepare so much. Out of instinct, you kind of tense up, which is actually worse. And then when somebody goes low, I, you know, I talked about low chops earlier in the night. When somebody goes low, it's just... It's the last thing you expect. It just forces even more air out of your body. Brooklyn just whipped her into the into the mat. She's think. standing on Taylor's throat. Definitely using that five count to her advantage. Well, Brooklyn is, I think, the more veteran in, in, in this match, and I think it's going to be it's obvious so far the way she's controlling uh, Taylor to this point. Taylor's got a lot of catching up to do. She's got a lot of fight. That she's got to pull out of somewhere because let's let's just face it, Stephen. Uh, Brooklyn's taken her to the limit so far. Oh, it's obvious Brooklyn doesn't believe in unicorns. Look at her just using the hair, or using yeah. the robes to pull the hair. Along with the pigtails, yeah. The extra leverage there. I just saw some hair fall from her hands. That's kind of disgusting. I mean, I'm follically challenged. I could use a hair. Don't let it go to waste. I've never heard the term follically challenged before. Just rolls out of that choke. Oh, but oh. catches a big boot for her troubles. It just, it seemed to just anger Brooklyn. When you're a heathen, I think it's going to take a little bit more than one yeah. boot. Oh. 
neck breaker. We're all heathens here, I guess. Uh, two count. I, she's showing signs of constantly not taking her opponent seriously with the way she's going for these pinfalls. Well, let me just point out that consecutive covers like that, that's that's a smart tactic. And I, I'm i am not uh, flipping the script here, and I'm not a Brooklyn Creed apologist or anything, but uh, just continuously covering your opponent like that, it's smart. It, it tires them out. They only have a few seconds to adjust, a few seconds to regain composure. And when you when you disorient them with repeated covers, it's it's a smart move. Yeah, it's a smart move. You're not necessarily thinking you're going to get the pinfall when you do it over and over again. It's simply to break your opponent down. Oh, what's Brooklyn got? She have that that glitter gun? I can't. She got her back to us. I can't quite tell. Uh, oh God! Well, that thing was loaded. Oh, oh clothesline from Taylor Ray. Back elbow. Just enough in it to get her opponent down. Cross, nice body. cross body. Kick out at two from Brooklyn. It's going to take a, more than that to keep the heathen down. She's winded, so there was not a lot behind those two moves. Oh, going for a suplex? What's she pulling her up for? Ripcord. Oh, nice. Oh, step over. We got a pin. Going for another pin. Little, oh. Foot on the, oh, whoa. whoa. Clearly oh, to our advantage. Yeah. Taylor Ray had her foot on the rope. The referee did not see it at all. Wow. Well, the referee declared the perfect pin is your winner.